Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are looking at Route 53. So Route 53 is a domain name service, DNS, and you can think of it as something like GoDaddy or Namecheap, but with integration specifically with AWS to make it um, a lot more powerful than these two. So what can you do with Route 53? Well, you can register and manage domains, create various record sets on a domain, implement complex traffic flows, uh, continuous monitoring uh, records with uh, health checks, resolve VPCs outside of AWS. So let's say you need to um, uh, have some resolution with your on-premise stuff. This is all stuff that you can do. I wanna point out one distinct thing that I noticed that um, uh, Rev 3 does that other cloud service providers do not do, which is the ability to register a domain. So if you were to go use uh, Microsoft, you can't do that there. And then uh, Google used to have Google domains, but they gave it away to Squarespace. So it's basically just AWS that is allowing you to still um, register your domains uh, directly. So that is really interesting. What could be a use case for using Route 53? Well, um, just when you wanna route things. So the idea is that imagine you have incoming traffic into, uh, into your VPC through Route 53 uh, or anywhere. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a VPC, but generally that's where it's gonna be going. And so you could route traffic over to, let's say an ALB, or you could route traffic to an instance um, uh, as that or you can route traffic to an API gateway or to CloudFront or an Elastic IP. So there's a lot of places you can send uh, your routing data, but we'll cover that in the upcoming slides here, okay?